and welcome to Stotzenberger College, Brecksville campus. I am Tanya Foose, your campus president, and I am here today for our Everyday Matters Award, along with our students, staff, and all of our furry friends, and one not so furry friend. <laughs> and we are here to honor Dr. Tenuzzo for all of his dedication and hard work. Dr. Tenuzzo, you were nominated by Tiffany Blankenship for this honor, and all of the students came forward and voted for their um, favorite winner here. So we are very honored to have this, and uh, I know Steve Tave, our CEO, has a few questions for you. So Steve, take it away. Well, um, first of all, I want to start off with um, that this is the first live Everyday Matters show from Rexville. I started this event to share with everyone how staff is going above and beyond to contribute to the success of our students and our schools. Sometimes it's just a story about a dedicated employee doing their jobs very well every single day with a smile on their face. I wanted everybody to be inspired, to be grateful, but most of all, be proud of what we do each and every day because every day does matter. Although we are giving this award to uh, John, affectionately known as Dr. T, I, I know each and every one of you deserves this award. And that is why we are throwing a party after this event. It is to celebrate everyone's accomplishments. And I want to thank not only the staff, but all the students who contribute to our school's success. Now, John, even though you had more likes, shares, and comments, the real reason you're getting this award is the way the students care about you. It may have gone a little overboard, but I applaud students that are so passionate about how much they care about a professor. I hear in the Vet Tech program, you have a reputation of being very passionate and you make students push their limits, but you are also fair and sensitive and make things fun. I also heard you want to give your day off to the person who nominated you. That embodies real team spirit, Dr. T, and I thank you for doing that. So a round of applause should go to you for this wonderful award you really deserved it. Congratulations. Oh, <laughs> oh we have a copy. He's very excited. <laughs> Dr. T, here is your award. Um, Dr. T, before you speak, uh, Dr. T, before you speak, can I just ask you a few questions and then you have the floor. So he has Dr. a few, few Dr. questions. Dr. T, how long have you been with Stotzenberger College? Almost three years. And what do you teach? Vet tech. Vet tech. <laughs> and what is your favorite animal? Dogs. Dogs. <laughs> do I love cats? No. no. Do you but love I, snakes? But I treat them equally. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we, you do well, a lot of work for the community and with all the animals. Can you I tell us a little bit about that? Well, we had some vet techs that uh, had, like every quarter, we would go to homeless shelters, old people shelters. Um, they would come here, people that were indigent, and we do community work here, do that. Because the truth is that what I do here is a blessing, and it's an honor, and it's a privilege. I can't believe that you actually pay me to come here and do what I do because I would do it for nothing if I was rich. <laughs> These are the reasons why I do what I do, okay? None of this is deserved by me. I'm one person. This is their day. And this is really all Tiffany's fault. <laughs> if I didn't help her, she wouldn't have nominated me. <laughs> I do want to say one other thing. Um, my beautiful wife, Gracie, she has multiple sclerosis. And most mornings she can't get out of bed. And I have to get up at 5.30 every morning and rub her legs and carry her sometimes. Um, and she is the most positive person in the world. And without her, I would be nothing. So she deserves this as much as anyone. Well, Congratulations. Yes, she does. 
Well, I think everyone deserved it here, and we want to thank you for all that you've brought to this campus. Stocks and Burger College, Rexville. Can I hear it from the students? Woo!